The next thing I want to talk about is the difference between a current block and a consistent read block. Now in our example that we've seen so far, a user on instance one just read the data and on instance two another user just read the data. There was no data being changed. Because data was not modified, the user on instance two could obtain the most recent, or in other words, the most current version of that block. Hence, the global cache current wait event. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bounce the instances. And now that the instances are down, I'll start them up. The big reason I do this is just to make sure we're starting with the clean slate, fresh from scratch, so that nothing else influences our analysis. Okay, now I'll go back into SQL Plus, and I'm going to update one row in this table. Okay, and we'll just verify that result. And there it is. But I have yet to commit the changes from this session. So only this session can see that change. If I go over here to the other instance, and this time I'm going to start a trace in my session, And let's look at that value. Here it says the owner is system, not Scott. This is Oracle's consistent read mechanism at, in play. Any session is not allowed to see uncommitted changes to the data. And this is true in single instance as well as Oracle Rack. Oracle Rack has to follow those same rules. What Oracle does under the covers is it uses the information in the undo table space to create an image of that block before the change occurred. And Oracle then takes that consistent read image and transfers it via cache fusion as a global cache transfer. So now let's look at my trace file. And we'll look at the weight events here. And we can see the three weight events of interest are all global cache transfers because the weight event name starts with GC. The first block is still a current transfer because the index block has not changed. But notice that third one. Now we see a global cache CR weight event. And this is a global cache consistent read weight event. It's still on the same file, and it's still on the same block of that file. So hopefully this explains the difference between a global cache current and a global cache consistent read transfer. Remember that a global cache current transfer is cache fusion transferring the current image because the block has no uncommitted changes. When there are uncommitted changes, cache fusion will ship a global cache consistent read image instead, as our demonstration has shown.